Thank you, Mr. Chairman. School shootings and mass shootings have become common in our country. When we send our children off to school, we expect them to learn math, science, and history, not learn how to hide from an active shooter. We expect them to play sports, act in plays, and participate in clubs, not study how to barricade a door and hide in closets without making a sound. Students in my district have come to me in tears because they are afraid of being injured or worse in their classrooms. H.R. 4301 takes the first step towards solving this epidemic. This bill will measure gun violence at schools by collecting relevant data and identifying the factors involved. This legislation allows us to better understand how we can protect our children and provide better resources to our schools as we work to prevent these tragedies. From the students who live in constant fear of being the next being in the next mass shooting in the news, to the students whose stories don't always make the headlines, who see guns every day in their schools, and who live with gun violence as a daily occurrence. This amendment will help us protect all of our students by establishing reporting requirements, being honest about this crisis, and standing up for future generations. I want to thank the groups and individuals who have already taken a stand with us in supporting this legislation. Every Town for Gun Safety, Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, Sandy Hook Promise, the National Education Association, and the American Federation of Teachers, and many, many others. I commend my colleagues, Representative Tulsi Gabbard and Johanna Hayes, for taking a step to protect our students, and I urge all of my colleagues to support the amendment in the nature of a substitute. I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you.